what's up guys I'm back because my camera ran out of memory space so um, if you watched the previous video I stopped at saying the word the Zadana and basically Zadana dies and from what I gather we're talking about Justice League 2 again, 22 um, basically Justice League 22 a Superman kills Dr. Light um, from the Justice League of America and Justice League of America kills Zadana possibly from uh, Justice League Dark and there you go there's your Trinity War um, there's a bit in the Bachelor of Lamb and some shit as well. He's basically the catalyst. And I'm guessing he's the pure of heart. Um, probably not making much sense what I just said then. Because you need to see video one. Maybe it's a cliffhanger I left on on purpose. Or maybe I just didn't have enough memory space. If you can decide. But anyway. In a nutshell. Justice League 22. Trinity War. Part 1. Pick it up. Simple. And Instructable Hulk, issue 10. Um, front cover's okay. I'm not mad on it. It's quite good. I like Daredevil on it. It's cool. Not feeling like I really drew Hulk, Hulk on it. Uh, but it's a good storyline. Um, <sighs> I like the Hulk book at the moment. Issue 10, I was, I'm kind of waiting for the story to start. At the moment, there's all been little stories. And while the little stories have been good, all these little stories have only felt to serve the purpose of introducing characters or justifying Bruce Banner's role within S.H.I.E.L.D. or, you know, whatever. Where's the big story coming from? The little stories are great, but where's the big story? Pick it up. And then I also picked up Superior Spider-Man 13. Um, this is the end of the story arc for Raft Island Breakout. And basically, I think the three issues are just basically put there so that Spider-Man could have Raft Island and go on to his next step of his master plan. Um, it looks like he might be making a army at the end of this. And you know, you have the, and they come back to the revelation that um, Kurt Connors is Kurt Connors and Mark Lizard. Um, it's nothing more to say. Superior Spider-Man. One of the best books on the market at the moment, uh, other than four, I believe. Pick it up. And then I picked up a very edition of X Men 1. Um, cool little sort of Abbey Road cover from Beatles. Uh, it's a cool cover. And uh, I've got this stupid cheap, I think it's some piece of play, charging £12. I've got three quid. Uh, so, for people who remember last video, I picked up issue 3 of Uber. Um, I've now picked up issue 2 of Uber. <laughs> and I've read this. And it's good. It's good old. Um, it's good read. I say it's still a bit weird, but it rips along really, really quick. So, I, uh, I thoroughly endorse watching, uh, reading, watching it. Watching it, reading it. Um, but the storyline's a bit. You know what's happening, but not because of the way they tell the story. Just because you're reading between the lines most of the time, to be honest. That's good. And speaking of Ultimate Comics, picked up the Ultimate Wolverine mini series. And this is basically, um, it's not a large story. Bite your butt. You noisy bastard. It's not an origin story of Wolverine, so to speak. And it's more of, um, um, justifying Wolverine's place on the X Men and basically hand them the legacy down to the son. Um, and that's basically it. It's basically, it's basically just set up to have a new Wolverine. So there's issue one. Issue two. Issue three. And issue four. And that's basically, you know, it's basically, um, Sorry, I've got my face because I was so hot. It's this pacey passing the reins over of Wolverine to his son. And that's good enough. It's a good storyline. Um, but there's only one Wolverine. You know, and he's not it. He's an impersonator. And uh, I accept it because it's an Ultimate Comics version. But they did this in the 616. No, naughty. And finally, I picked up a couple of books. Um, picked up 68 Jungle Gym, part 4 of 4. Uh, I picked up part 1 last week, so it's going to get 2 and 3, and then I can read that. 
and I put uh, Avengers Secret One, Secret Avengers, Secret Avengers One. Uh, so I got Secret Avengers Two last week in the mystery bag. So all in all, it was a good haul. Um, some good stuff there. Some good reads. Um, sorry for the two-part video thing. <clears throat> I ran out of space on the old bloody camera doing all bloody video. So hopefully you've watched one first and not two second because it's going to be a bit confusing for you. But hey ho, um, that's it. Um, I will be bringing in another video soon with all the ultimate comics uh, I picked up and there's loads. I've got Ultimates 1, 2, and 3, and then Ultimates 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, just loads. Uh, Ultimate Thor, Ultimate Power, Ultimate Team Up. Like I said, I think it's like 200 comics. It's ridiculous. I'm not sure I'm going to show that in the video. I might just do the old quick in front of the camera thing. So just in, out, in, out, in, out. Um, like, um, like comic books do. Do that sort of style. Just, make, just get, keep it sort of quick as a video. But until next time. Um, thank you. Put that love there, because now I've got fun wearing boxes as we do. Uh, take care.